A new crash test shows just how dangerous big rigs can be on the highway, especially when it comes to accidents involving cars smashing into those trucks from behind. CBS News national correspondent Jim Axelrod is in Secaucus, New Jersey this morning with the details, and uh, they will definitely make you sit up and take notice, Jim. Well, good morning, Erica. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says it's high time the trucking industry makes some changes that could save hundreds of lives a year and is out with some stunning video to support its argument. Watch the Chevy Malibu, which gets a five-star safety rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, hit the back of this tractor trailer at 35 miles per hour. Hitting a brick wall would actually be safer, given all the advances in safety technology. When you hit a large truck, that crash protection is just bypassed. We're talking about the the uh, occupants actually making direct contact with their heads with the back of the trailer. More than 400 people die each year from what's called underride, when the car slips under the back of a truck. And it's terribly sad every time it happens because it is completely avoidable. Roy Crawford lost his 16-year-old son, Guy, in 1994 to an underride accident. It was dark, and the truck had no rear reflectors and no underride guard. The child I lost was my favorite person in the world, and it's not something that you, you get over. The Insurance Institute would like to see new rules, strengthening the guards and the way they're attached to the trailers. It's hard to look at that video and not think, wait a minute, something needs to be done here. You don't dispute that. Nope, no. There's clearly a step that probably needs to be taken. It would be only the second time in 58 years the federal government implemented new regulations regarding underride guards. Even the trucking industry says it's time to do something. What the federal government thought was adequate uh, a number of years ago when these specifications were developed um, is probably not adequate today. So what is the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration saying about the report? Basically, that it's aware of the problem, but making no commitments about any new regulations anytime soon. Erica? Comforting for drivers to hear that. Everyone sees the problem, but not doing anything about it yet. Jim Axelrod in Secaucus, thanks.